Throughout time, people have been coming together in England's parish churches to share in marking the important events in their lives the happy as well as the sad occasions. Among family, friends and the local community, they have celebrated joyful events in these spaces. And in these same buildings, they have also found comfort and support at times of personal and national sadness and loss. Through the opportunity for private reflection and contemplation, as well as through services, and shared acts of remembrance. Within the tranquil setting of a church, people have, in the past and still today, been able to find consolation while seated or kneeling quietly, perhaps saying a prayer, lighting a candle, or taking a moment to be still with their own thoughts as they remember a loved one who is no longer here with them. Every year in November, we focus on remembering those lives lost through war. On the 11th of November, at 11 o'clock, the nation pauses together in silence, in an act of remembrance. Poppies are worn as a symbol of remembrance and poppy wreaths are laid at war memorials. Following the Great War of 1914 to 1918, many parish churches provided a local focus for commemorating the people from that community who had died in the war. War memorials were erected both inside churches and outside in the churchyards, along with rolls of honour listing the names of those from the local community who had played their parts in the war. As the parish church had for centuries traditionally been at the centre of life in a community and at earlier times had been the place where the parish records were kept, it made an appropriate location to record these names here. The first Remembrance Day was marked in Great Britain in 1919 and the poppy was adopted as the symbol of war remembrance by the Royal British Legion in 1921. This year, as in the past, on Remembrance Sunday, there will be services, parades and the laying of poppy wreaths. Poppies will be worn as a symbol of remembrance and people will pause and bow their heads as they remember the sacrifices made by so many.